My name is Mike Briggs and I'm here to talk to you about TSL Logic and how our analytics engine can assist you in building a data-backed business case for migration planning. TSL Logic analyzes data points in an on-premises environment and then matches those servers with the optimal right-sized EC2 instances at AWS. Gathering the data for analytics is either done using our agentless collector to monitor the environment or by ingesting data that is already available from existing monitoring and inventory tools. If we're installing the TSO collector, all we need is a VM created within the environment to install on. And after installation, we connect to VMware using the vCenter API with a set of read-only credentials. And for physical devices, we connect using existing protocols, WMI or SNMP. This allows for simple deployment with very light configuration and no agents to install on servers, VMs, or hosts. The provisioning and utilization data from the on-premise environment, either from an export or using our collector, are then analyzed by TSO Logic to understand the environment and the workload patterns of each OS instance. Beyond this raw collected data, we can also layer in asset tagging, such as environment details, the application that is supported by each OS instance, and any software entitlements a server has assigned, such as SQL licensing. You can see an example of all the different types of pivots we gather and can create over on the left-hand side of the screen here. Applications, environments, lines of business, managers for accountability purposes, operating systems, anything that can be helpful to slice this data in different ways when trying to analyze the environment. All of TSO Logic's reporting is contextual, so you'll also see that this data on the right will vary depending which node you select on the left, which is helpful when digging into certain environments, business functions, or licensing to get an understanding of those specific workloads. I click on environments, I can see only development. If I want to see all the environments for the entire infrastructure, I can click the top level and everything on the right will reflect that. All of this data together creates a comprehensive view of the current on-prem infrastructure. This can be reviewed in the TSO Logic software to share insights on the current state of the environment. One of these insights is the OS instance classification. Every time we pull a VM or server, we see whether that machine is in use based on current CPU activity. If in our typical three to five week collection period, we see devices that report as idle 100% of the time, the system will move these into a separate bucket called zombies. These zombies are helpful to identify as they have no utilization and therefore may not need to move to AWS. Moving on from the on-prem usage details, we can look at the most powerful function of TSO Logic, the cost modeler. Up at the top of the screen, we can easily review the current provisioning and utilization data of each machine using this helpful pop-up. This shows the name of each VM or bare metal device, the amount of time it was in use, average and peak CPU, average and peak memory, and the provisioning, CPU and memory details, as well as the operating system. The on-prem costing that you'll see at the top of the screen here as well can either come from customer provided financial data or by simply using our industry standard TSO Logic benchmarks. You'll also see we break out on-premise SQL costing to help provide a snapshot of current SQL licensing. Once we've reviewed the on-prem side to confirm we'll be starting the cloud planning phase with a good foundation of data, we can start cost modeling to AWS. Each scenario in the cost modeler in the TSO Logic software has two numbers coming out of it. On the left is the direct match. This is a lift and shift. This is ignoring utilization details and truly showing what each device similarly provisioned at AWS would cost the client. Of course, if you're over provisioned on-prem, you'll be over provisioned at AWS and likely not making the most cost-effective migration decision. What you'll see over on the right is one of the key features of TSO Logic and our powerful algorithm. This is the TSO right size value. This is where we take the machine provisioning along with CPU, memory utilization data. And we find the least expensive option at AWS that supports the workload pattern we observed for each device. You can create as many scenarios as needed to provide right sized costing comparisons for your business case. Scenario creation involves a number of simple options for high flexibility. 
This includes the ability to choose the AWS region, purchase type, as well as selecting whether to bring along those idle zombie machines that I mentioned earlier. You can also choose whether to include T-Series burstable instances based on the client's recommendations and requirements. Another great feature is the ability to add a buffer on right sizing to allow for a bit of headroom in the instances we match with. This is especially helpful if on-prem workload patterns are cyclical or seasonal and TSL logic happens to have been engaged during a quieter time of the year. You can say, rather than providing me with a 100% TSO right size match, let's do 120% instead and scale that up a little bit to allow a little bit of breathing room on the provisioning on each EC2 instance. For workloads that would be best suited for on-demand purchase, you have the option to choose how we determine the on-demand model. Selecting on-demand, you'll see we have dynamic power control, leveraging the measured time on or time in use based on a certain amount of hours in a day. Beyond this, TSL Logic also has the ability to find EC2 matches that include SQL licensing, or if a client has software assurance on their own licenses, we can model bring your own license as shown here. This means we will find EC2 instances that support SQL and allow a client to bring licenses and we won't show a rebuy of those since the client already owns them. Once a scenario like this is created and it's time to move forward with a business case, TSO Logic can help either present simple reporting or can help support a third party such as a partner, service integrator, or the cloud economics team in building a more detailed report using exports from our software. Hopefully this overview has helped you understand a bit more about TSO Logic and how we can support your cloud migration planning. Please contact us if you have any questions or would like to get started with an engagement.